Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about sorry versus thank you and how using one versus the other can change the dynamic of a conversation. But before I jump into that, are you new to my channel? Welcome. I am a licensed therapist making mental health videos and I release them on Mondays and on Thursdays. So make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on so that you don't miss out. Now let's jump into today's topic. I was recently reading a blog post on one of my favorite blogs. It's called Man Repeller. If you haven't heard of it, I would encourage you to check it out. It's really great. I love to hear what they have to say. But anyways, I was reading an article about these two phrases, thank you and sorry. And it really just got me thinking. As an avid over-apologizer, I really wanted to understand the difference between the two and see where I could improve. Because if I'm really being honest, I really hate that I say sorry so much. And I vividly remember being yelled at by my softball coach. I was probably like 13 or 14, but he yelled at me saying, stop saying sorry so much. To which I obviously replied as any over apologizer would as saying sorry, and then getting yelled at again and going back and forth until I just started crying. And at the time, like after that interaction, I became overly aware of just how often I found myself saying sorry. And so I would try to stop but then I'd end up feeling like a total jerk and the guilt of not saying sorry when I felt like I should would just completely ruin my day. And I couldn't figure out what to do. I even brought it up in therapy years later and my therapist tried to figure out why I was saying it so much. Not so much to try to get me to stop. That's the interesting thing about therapy, right? Is we try to figure out what's causing it. Why are we doing it? And hopefully through all of my many, many years of therapy and talking with my therapist about this, for a way longer than I intended, maybe I can save you all those tough conversations and tell you what I learned about myself. Now, I say I'm sorry all the time because I hate upsetting people and I avoid confrontation at all costs. By saying I'm sorry, even when the situation doesn't technically warrant it, I am doing my best to please others and stay out of the way, so to speak. It's almost like I needed to apologize for even existing. Like I could upset someone by just being there. So I would keep saying sorry over and over. And I know even sharing that kind of sounds terrible and maybe even feel bad for me, but don't worry. I'm not done sharing what I learned and I promise I'm doing much, much better with it today. But what my therapist had me do next is to work on my confidence. I know that may sound off base. You're like, wait, we're talking about sorry versus thank you. Now you're talking about self-confidence. But if I felt the need to apologize for just being or existing, I obviously couldn't really think that highly of myself, right? And working on my self-confidence did help a ton, but I still found myself saying sorry just way too much. So this is what I'm currently working on at the ripe age of 35. We're all works in progress, remember? Is that I'm trying to be okay with the idea that I cannot please everyone. It's simply not possible. I mean, just think about it. If two people disagree with what should take place, what does someone like me do? If I don't wanna upset either of them, I'm kind of frozen, right? I can't really do anything. I will have to displease one of them. And through all thinking of all this and working on this, you know what I've really learned? That it's actually most important that I myself am pleased. And yeah, that's the truth. One of my favorite quotes or sayings is, you can't light yourself on fire to keep someone else warm. And I'm just really trying to remember that and to have healthy boundaries around what I will do or not do for someone else. And truly what I will do for myself, because that's really important, right? We need to cultivate a healthy relationship with ourselves before we can go out and cultivate healthy relationships with other people. Because if we don't have a good one with ourselves, we're gonna almost like continue that pattern outside of ourselves. Does that make sense? That's something that I'm currently working on. Because if I don't do what I need for myself, no one's gonna do it for me. So I'm gonna have to do it myself. Okay, enough rambling on the topic of saying sorry, but I just have so much personal experience with it that I couldn't help but share. And feel free to share your own thoughts and experiences in those comments down below too. But now on to the phrase, thank you, because I think this is something I am going to try to say more. While sorry is an apology and something that you would say when you've wronged someone else, right? So we're saying sorry to be like, oh, I did something bad. So it's about me apologizing for hurting someone else. Thank you, on the other hand, is acknowledgement 
of someone doing something right. So you're praising someone else, you're thanking them. And I know that that kind of goes without saying, but often I find that we have certain language we use and terminology that we get so comfortable doing and saying that we almost forget what it truly means. And we use thank you and sorry interchangeably when they're actually very different. And by saying thank you to someone, you are letting them know that you noticed it and that you're grateful. For example, if I show up late to meet someone, instead of saying, sorry, I'm late, because you know what that's gonna cause, then it's gonna have the other person say, oh no, it's okay, it's okay, and then I'll say sorry again, and then they'll say it's okay again, and then we'll both just kinda settle in. But instead, if I say, thank you so much for waiting, I'm acknowledging what they did for me and the kindness that they showed. They waited. Sorry, in a way, makes it kind of all about the person that did something wrong or inconsiderate because, you know, they'll keep saying it's okay and we keep saying sorry and they're like, no, 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 no. But instead, saying thank you focuses on the person who was waiting, the person who did something nice. Does that make sense? I hope so. So after reading this blog post that I'll link in the description, if you want to, you know, get your thought juices flowing, you can read it yourself. But I've decided to try and say thank you when someone did something nice for me instead of always saying sorry. I even practiced this last week when I was recovering from my gum graft surgery. Don't worry, I'll be back in fighting shape in no time. But when Sean would cook a meal for me or do something nice for me because I couldn't really do that much for myself, I wouldn't apologize for not being able to do it. Well, at least not every time, <laughs> right? I'm not perfect and I still over apologize, I'm working on it. But instead of doing that every time, I would thank him for taking care of me. Thank him for doing that nice thing. And I don't really know if he felt any difference. Did you? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, cool. But I know that I did. So I noticed the shift. And I'm gonna to try to keep doing this and keep up this pattern because I really think there's an importance of acknowledging someone else for being kind versus just over apologizing, almost for even taking up space, which we all have a right to take up space. So I'm just gonna try to shift how I communicate and maybe you can try it too. But more importantly, what do you think? Why do you say sorry so much? Or do you not? Also, I would love to hear your thoughts on saying sorry versus thank you. And let me know in those comments down below because I just find this so fascinating and I would love to hear your thoughts on it as well. And I will see you next time. Bye.